Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Trish, and you're at Trish's Creative Treasures. So, I'm just going to try to get in here and sneak peek a few things for you that I've been working on for this month's theme. So, I'm going to try to do a bunch of little projects because I'm not going to be able to be eligible for any of the prize. So, but, and I thought it would be nice just to do a few little things to give you guys ideas. Um, okay, so let's get to that for this month's boho slash hippie. So, I only have a certain amount of yarn that's downstairs because I still have yet to get upstairs. Something going on with my hip that I can't stretch my hip out right to walk up the steps right now. So, I had Drake and bring me down a box of yarn. So, I'm limited to what he brought me with colors anyway. So, here... It's a little, oh, let me see if I can get this on here. Like a little head thing. Now that I just pulled my other head thing off. Hold on, guys. There we go. That simple. But yes, just like a little half a bandana, pretty much so, with straps. Very, very easy and quick to make. And they're absolutely adorable. Um, this I made the other day for myself. So it has around the neck and then around the back. It's just a crop top. Which I did like extra. Because I got boobs guys. So <laughs> I made extra space so it would be big enough for the girls to fit in there. And it's just a tie strap in the back. So, this was made with a mainstay yarn. This was made with a Mary Maxim rainbow yarn. I love the rainbow yarn. I ordered a whole bunch of it in different colors when I had my big order that I did. Okay, and this is probably took me about a couple nights here to work on this to finish it, but it's a bag. As you can see, I've braided the straps and I've left tassels on and I put a flower but this sucker's big it's going to be a market bag for when we go to the farmer's market and it fits perfectly on the back of my wheelchair so I'm going to have to hold it up because it's huge so okay here we go you're not going to see me you're going to see my bag so there's my big boho bag that I've made um I have in the works. Let me see where I put it. Hold on, guys. I'm just so not prepared. Uh, right here it is, if I can get it out. So, yeah, that bag that I just showed you was with, um, well, the purple was a Mary Maxim, and I don't have the, like, ball band, so I can't even tell you what color it is or anything. But the blue and yellow are, um... From Ice Yarn, they're just the basic, and then the green, I have no idea, it was a ball that I wound up and was in one of my extra, you know, like, yarn scrap things, and yeah, the pink was a Mary Maxim yarn. So this I am using Mandala Groot, so let me just set this here, and I have also started doing a shawl. So just me throwing some stitches together. I'm not following any pattern or anything. So started working on that the other night. I just did a couple of rows of grannies and then I did a row of double crochets. I did a row of crisscross, then a row of double crochets and then got back into the grannies. So it looks like I'm going to be doing six rows of grannies and then doubles crisscross then doubles and then back and forth so that's what I've been working on lately what have you all been working on is everybody picked out the project for this month have you started it yep we're at the what today's the seventh I think of June I think so so yeah between that I've been planting seeds and planting stuff today I am doing some canning while I've been sitting here crocheting so I'll just turn this here 
you can see that I've done some meat. I have more chicken and chicken broth in the canner right now. I just got that started. Plus, while I'm sitting here, I'm cooking dinner on my little double burners. So, yeah, this is my... Oops, I almost dropped my phone, guys. Sorry about that. This is my outdoor cooker setup. That's what I do. So, yeah. Hippie boho. I, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I love hippie boho. Mind my messy yard. We are in the middle of reorganizing stuff, picking out stuff that needs to go in the trash, picking up stuff that we got to keep and put somewhere else. It's a mess. But that's my green stalk. My sister got me that green stalk for my birthday. It's got a bunch of seeds planted in it, and that's just a bunch of parsley in there. And that purple right back there is full of strawberries. And there's peppers and squash. Well, not squash. It's zucchini. Zucchini is a squash. But there's a bunch of peppers and zucchini. And there is my other part of my garden and my greenhouse that we have yet to plant anything in. So we've got to get that planted. Which in there, I am going to plant my peas and all my different beans. So I have a sugar... Daddy, I think they're called sweet peas, and I have purple sweet peas, which they both taste the same. One's purple, one's green. I love purple, so I'm gonna grow purple veggies. Um, and then I have dragon tongue beans to plant. I have jade beans to plant. I have uh, black black beans to plant, and I also have um, I don't even remember what kind it is. I bought it because it looks pretty. It's like a bean that's like a pink and a red it's like a egg type thing so i'm gonna plant them and they're supposed to be just like a green bean but there's not too much yet to catch up on like over there i don't know if you saw all those over there in all them cups that's all my tomatoes besides we already have six planted that were big enough to plant down on our trellis um and then jim planted four more um in the bottom here and uh yeah i'm gonna have a lot of that's a lot of roma tomatoes i have german something and i have hillbilly tomatoes i have chocolate striped tomatoes i got mr stripey tomatoes planted um we got purple cherokee um there's a couple other kinds i can't remember what all i planted but those are just waiting for them to get big enough it just rained past two days like t it rained hard this morning and then it rained off and on yesterday so I gotta wait till they dry out some now so that I can fertilize everything with some fish fertilizer to give them a good boost because they're growing but it's I, I got started with my seeds late. I mean, I just got stuff planted mid-May, end of May. So, I mean, it's doing good considering how late I was. Because normally I have my seeds and everything started end of March, beginning of April. And everything's nice and lush and big and green. Well, we just Jim planted um, our spaghetti squash down on the trellis that we have. And he planted um, like 13 cucumber plants. Um, I have a whole bunch of spaghetti squash. He planted my Kajari melons. And we have butternut squash. And I have this melon. Big. It's supposed to be really big. It's supposed to be a sweet like melon type of squash. And then I also have, like I said, I have zucchini. I have zucchini, five zucchini plants going. And three of them are really big and starting to bud already. I mean, flower already. Um, they're a bush variety, so they don't vine. They just bush. Everything else that vines goes down when... When I can, I will show you down there. It's a mess right now because we're just getting it set up. And besides, if I turn my phone, you won't see anything because somebody gave my daughter a bunch of baby clothes and baby toys and baby stuff. And it's just piled up on my table out here, which I'm irritated about because I've been telling her for a week to take it in the house. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I just wanted to get on here real quick and give you guys a peek at what I have made so far um, for the month of June. 
Um, I'm sure I'm going to have a few things more done. I'll try to get back in the next week and see what I come up with to make for this wonderful crochet or whatever craft you want. Hippie boho style for this month. Alright guys, I love y'all. Oh, I also wanted to say before I get off of here, I've gotten quite a few new subscribers, so I just want to say thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, I hope there's something you find that you like. Um, right now, we'll probably be doing a lot of outdoor stuff till I can get back up in my room and get back into my craft corner. Unfortunately, guys, as you all know, that have been with me for a little bit now, knew that I was going to move my craft area into my son's room. And that's not going to happen now. My daughter Tiana, who had the third floor that moved out, well, she moved back home and she's pregnant. She'll be 18 next month. But, what are you going to do? It's here. We're going to love it and take care of it no matter what. It's a boy. His name's going to be Pierce. So, yeah, that's exciting. At first it wasn't. I was like, what, do you realize what you've done? Like, she had such dreams and all this of college and blah, 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 blah. Well, that's all going to have to get put aside. She wants to do cosmetology school, which is fine. Um, and that's If she does that full time, she'll go every day for eight hours a day. And if you go every day without taking any time off, you can actually be done and get your be able to get your um, license. To, well, you have to go take your state boards, obviously. So she'll be able to go take her state boards to be able to hopefully get... Um, her license to do what I've always done I've tried to let her know that it is not an easy task everyone thinks beauty school is so easy but no you I mean you have to learn the anatomy you have to learn muscles you have to learn nerves you have to learn pressure points you have to learn diseases and disorders and bones and yeah yep there's a lot you got to learn to be a hairdresser cosmetologist pretty much so so all right guys thank you all for subscribing if you're not subscribed yet please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so that time that way you get told or notified every time i am uploading a video and leave a comment i want to know what you're working on i want to know what you're what your project is for this month. It's exciting and I want to know. All right. Once again, I love y'all and I will see you in my next video. Bye.